hey friends welcome to the youtube channel all about electronics so in this question we have been given this digital circuit and here we have been asked to find the output voltage of the given circuit so if you closely observe the circuit then it consists of two comparators and here the two sinusoidal voltage v1 and v2 are applied to these comparators so the output of the two comparators are given to the xor gate and then the output of the XOR gate is given to the low pass filter. So here we have been given that the cutoff frequency of the low pass filter is equal to 0.1 Hz. So basically here this low pass filter gives us the average value. So in short here we have been asked to find the average value of the output waveform. So as I said here both V1 and V2 are the sinusoidal signals. So as you can see both signals are of the same amplitude and the frequency but they are the phase shifted. So whenever these signals are applied to the comparator, then based on their amplitude, the comparator will give the specific output. So here, the inverting terminal of the both comparators are connected to the ground terminal. That means whenever the input signal is positive, then the output of the comparator will be high. And whenever the signal is negative, then the output of the comparator will be zero. So here, these V1 and V2 are the signals which is applied to the comparator and as you can see this v1 is 36 degree advance compared to the v2 so if you see this 36 degree then that is one tenth of the 360 degree because if you see the one cycle of the sinusoidal signal then that is equal to 360 degree or in the radian that is equal to 2 pi so we can say that this v1 signal is 36 degree in advance compared to the v2 signal or in the radian if we see the same phase shift then that is equal to pi by 5. So here based on these two signals we will get the specific output of the two comparators. So for this signal V2 whenever the signal is positive then the output of the comparator will be positive. So this is the output of the second comparator. And similarly for the first comparator during this time the output signal is positive. Then after during this time the output signal is less than zero. That means during this time, the output of the comparator will remain zero. And once again, during this pi by phi time period, since the input signal is positive, so once again, the output of the comparator will become positive. So this VO1 and the VO2 are the output of the two comparators. And these two signals will be given to the XOR gate. So as you know, the output of the XOR gate is high and both signals are different. That means if the both signals are high or low at the same time, then the output of the XOR gate will be zero. But whenever both signals are different, then and then only its output will be equal to high. So in this case, this signal is the VO2 and this signal is equal to VO1. So these two signals are given to the XOR gate. So as you can see, during this time, only one signal is high and the second signal is low. That means during this time only, the output of the XOR gate will remain high. And if you see this time duration, then that is equal to 36 degree because these two signals are phase shifted apart from 36 degree or in the radian that is equal to pi by 5. That means in the entire time period, only during this time duration, the output of the XOR gate will remain high. So as I said earlier, the one time period of the sinusoidal signal is equal to 2 pi radian. So out of the 2 pi radian, only during this duration, the output of the XOR gate is equal to high. That means here, this T on is equal to pi by 5 plus pi by 5, while the total time duration is equal to T, or in the radian, that is equal to 2 pi. So we can say that only for the one fifth of the total time duration, the output of the XOR gate remains high. And in the question, we have been given that whenever the output of the XOR gate is high, then that corresponds to 5 volt. So here, the output of the XOR gate is passed through the low pass filter. That means after the low pass filter, we will get the average value of this output waveform. That means here, this V average is equal to 5 volt times T on divided by T. That is equal to 1 volt. That means for the given question, the value of the output voltage V out is equal to 1 volt